Okay, so I am making my hair and they can people that have apicia and hair loss, this is a good remedy for them. And uh, apparently turpentine makes your hair grow back. So I'm gonna, uh, I don't have any hair loss, but I am uh, cleaning my hair to make it more electrical because I know that it's gonna penetrate the scalp and pull a lot of old uh, toxins that have been leaching into the scalp that don't allow a, a flow could say this is like your brain and then the nerves come out of the brain and it connects right to the hair. So that's like an extension of your central nervous system. And it's uh, literally uh, blocked by a lot of toxins. And that's how people go bald, I think. I mean, I presume that there's a real true reason why a lot of people go bald in America, but I don't have baldness. I'm just cleaning out my, my antennae to make a nice flow from the brain to the stem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some coconut oil in there because when I put turpentine in it, I don't want it to evaporate so easily. I want it to sit on the hair and pull all of the uh, <clears throat> the heaviness out with from the sweating or whatever buildup that you don't get out of there. And then I'm gonna put some very uh, condensed colloidal silver, 500 <laughs> points per million, uh, milligram or whatever you wanna call that. It is a lot of colloidal silver in one little bottle. So I'm gonna probably put like a few drops of that in there. And then of course, my turpentine. So. <clears throat> now I'm putting some of the colloidal silver in there. It's starting to look like mashed potatoes with gravy. It's interesting, I don't understand why it's dark like that. Maybe it's got that, uh, you know, when the colloidal silver sits for a while, it turns dark. Still silver, though. And then one more for a uh, rub. This is going to be good for my hair, though. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. And my turpentine. And since I don't have a lot of coconut oil, I'm probably just going to use this to... Uh, lather up the thick parts and then I'll just pour the, the turpentine on like you know the really condensed hmm. it really dissolved in there really quick <laughs> it just eats up the it eats up the coconut oil wow very interesting well anyways I'll put this in my hair and then I'll saturate the rest with this turpentine here and I'll let it sit in a wrap uh, for like 45 minutes, 25 minutes, till it starts tingling. Then I'll wash it out in my glass <clears throat> water that I put inside of my wooden bucket here. Because as you can see here, if it stays in the glass, you're not leaching. Uh, the turpentine is not going to leach any plastic. And uh, I'm not going to wrap my head with plastic. I'm going to wrap it with cotton and put plastic bag on the outside of the cotton to keep the moisture in. But as I want. I don't want the hair to have turpentine in it and have a plastic bag on it. See what I mean? So I'm going to put this in and then I'll let you guys know like tomorrow or something how it worked out. <laughs>